It was President Hamid Karzai's first and last televised debate. On the Sunday before the election, he stood side by side with his rivals for the country's highest office. The event was hosted on Afghan State TV by RFERL's Radio Free Afghanistan, which is known locally as Radio Azadi. Akbar Ayazi, the radio's director, moderated the discussion. Ramazan Bashardost, sometimes dubbed the Afghan Gandhi for his asceticism and populist style, hit hard at the start with criticism of the status quo. The one-time planning minister in Karzai's government urged voters to use their votes for genuine change. I'm asking my compatriots not to trust the words of any candidate, even if he is Bashar Dost. When Bashar Dost or another candidate tells you, I'm going to serve you, I want to rebuild Afghanistan, and I will bring justice and the rule of law, don't trust them. You should trust people by looking into their past deeds. Karzai used the debate to pitch his high-profile reconciliation plans with the Taliban. He said that his administration's plans and perspective have widespread international acceptance. Fortunately, we have good conditions for pursuing reconciliation. Our understanding with the Islamic world, particularly Saudi Arabia, as well as the United States, has improved in this regard. America and NATO has realized that peace is essential and it should be brought about by a reconciliation process among Afghans rather than through fighting. Thus, holding a loya jirga in Afghanistan with the participation of all Afghans and to which the Taliban and his Islami are also invited is essential. Along with that, the process of the regional peace jirga between Afghanistan and Pakistan should continue. The Afghanistan Bazgar. Ashraf Ghani, who served in Karzai's cabinet and worked for the World Bank, coolly pitched his plans for creating one million jobs and an efficient administration. He also urged all Afghans to exercise their right to vote despite threats. I want to congratulate the Afghan nation because for the first time we can independently choose our president. Regardless of whom we are going to vote for, it is important that we vote and while voting, we should not be influenced by power or money. President Karzai was the clear frontrunner in polls leading up to the debate. Abdullah Abdullah, who did not appear Sunday, was second. Bashar Dost was in third. No candidate faltered during the event or delivered a knockout blow. But many Afghan voters who watched or listened to the debate will make the ultimate decision on Election Day.